Hi there, everybody. Welcome back. Uh, we're going on to the next part in the uh, What is a New Yorker doing in Kentucky? So we left California on July 1st, about lunchtime, and it was me, my son, and uh, my best friend was doing the driving because I've never learned how to drive. I know that seems crazy. <laughs> it's not like I was a city person, i.e. a Manhattanite. No, I wasn't. I just, uh, we didn't have a car when I was growing up after my mom and dad separated. My mom never learned how to drive a car because she was from Brooklyn and what's a car? We use a subway. So I just never learned. I started taking a couple of lessons from a cousin in my teens and uh, stuff happened and I just never got beyond the couple of lessons. And when you don't have a vehicle around to actually practice, it's kind of difficult. So, um, we had tried a couple of things with my roommate trying to teach me, but she, um, it made her far too nervous to not have her hands on the steering wheel while training somebody. She had had a, a not too comfortable experience with uh, a mutual friend, and that had just freaked her out. She was like, no, 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 I, I can't do this anymore. I, 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 it makes me far too nervous not to be driving and being in the passenger seat explaining to somebody. So th that was that. That was the reason why I hadn't fully learned how to. I did have a, um, a permit because I had taken one official lesson <laughs> with um, a driving company, but that was tremendously expensive. Um, and at that time, I, I looked at it and said, oh, this is good, but I really want to have this once or twice a month, and I can't really afford the, to spend that kind of money, 50 plus dollars uh, a lesson. So we're back to driving across. And we had driven, she and I had driven, well, she had done the driving from New York to California the first time some years before. And uh, that was and its own fun, exp uh, fun adventure on its own. But anyway, so we left. Everything was beautiful the first night. I think we were in Utah when we stopped. Not quite sure. Uh, but it was beautiful. The place was beautiful. Everything was good. We weren't trying, we were sort of trying to keep up with the panel truck, but not. I mean, it was okay as long as we were kind of near each other when we stopped driving at the end of the day and we kind of could keep up with each other relatively speaking. And everything proceeded and the temperature climbed <laughs> as the days went on and uh, we were going good till it was about, um, I had noticed my friend on I think it was day two, the heat was getting us all. We didn't have any air conditioning in the PT Cruiser. We had never gotten it fixed when we had acquired the vehicle so it could get really, really hot in there, really hot. So um, normally we would just pull over and I was putting, uh, uh, we had gotten um, cloths, wetting them in ice cold water from water bottles and putting them around, I was putting them around her neck to keep her cool while she was driving and we all were doing that. Oh, we didn't really care if we were kind of like getting our t-shirts all wet or whatever. It was just anything to keep cool while, while we were driving. And we only stopped to pick up food. We would stop, pick up food, walk around the car a few times, stretch our legs, get back in the car, continue. Maybe stop, even for lunches, we didn't stop any more than like half an hour. So, um, the, the only thing that came across that was a little weird in all the, until we got to near the area that we were getting to, I think we were in Kansas, I'm not sure. We, um, we had gone, it was about 10-ish at night and we couldn't find a, a, um, a Holiday Inn. We found a La Quintas. Other people have had better experiences with this, but this was my one and only and never will I stay in another one again. We, we got there, and I admit we did get there late, and okay, but we got there, they had rooms, we went into the room, and it had an awful smell in it. Um, 
my roommate was exhausted. I mean, my best friend was exhausted. She, she didn't care about the smell. She didn't think it was that bad. My son was exhausted. He didn't care. But I'm one of those people, I can put up with a lot of smells. Don't, you know, trust me. I can put up with a lot, but if there was something bad about this smell, it was kind of a combina combination of dirty old carpet, moldy, like it was rotting, add some wet dog on top of that, and then add some stale cigar on top of that. And it permeated the room. The only room that didn't really smell was the bathroom. And I could not get it out of my nose. It just would not go away. My nose would not just say, okay, we're used to this. We're cool. No, 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 no. It would not go away. So I went out, um, we went out to well, I went out there and I said, you know, there's an awful smell in the room. Excuse me. You know, I hate to bother you. There's an awful smell in the room. Uh, could we have another room? And they were very brisk and like, oh, no, no, no. You, you can't have another room. We don't have any other rooms to give you. And the, uh, the manager or whatever desk, desk person was like, oh, no, we can't give you another room. Not mentioning whether there was any other rooms, I asked, is there any other rooms available? Because I was willing to even pony up some more money to have another room that didn't smell as much. No, that's the room we gave you. That's the room you have to take. That was rude. I'd never had that. And, you know, we would stayed in a few hotels along the way. I'd never had such, you know, that kind of rudeness. They, they wouldn't come to the room to verify what my problem was with the smell. Um, no, the room is fine. You have to take it. I didn't like that, but okay, fine. I went back to the room. It was two, it was a twin room. So my friend was in the one bed and I and my son were in the other bed. And the bed was kind of like, this huge sag in the middle. Huge. I mean, you could not lie on the edge without rolling into the middle of it. And... Uh, <laughs> what? <laughs> we tried. I tried one side. I tried to stay in the side. And I tried the other. And you'd roll into the middle of it. And finally, I was like, okay. My, my son, obviously, is a grown man. He's going to weigh more. So he's going to roll more to the middle than I am. So he rolled in to, more towards the middle. He couldn't help it. So I stayed on my side of the bed and I was curled up kind of like holding on to the mattress so I wouldn't like roll into him and get smothered. And I was just holding on <laughs> for dear life. And I couldn't sleep because of this awful, this god awful smell in the room. So that was my night clinging to the side of the mattress, holding on to keep from rolling into the middle, ah, and, and trying not to think about the smell. I figured sooner or later exhaustion would overtake me and I'd fall asleep. I think I slept 20 minutes in about five, six hours. About five hours, yeah, 20 minutes. I could not sleep. I couldn't even toss and turn because I would roll into my son and I didn't want to wake him up. And that was my night. So the next morning, uh, quote unquote, the continental breakfast was appalling. It was terrible. There, it was a horrible breakfast and they wanted you to pay for, for some of it even though they had said it was free in the morning. So overall, a very bad experience, and um, not to pick on them, but you know, at least that one. I wish I could remember what state we were in. I will color my my opinion of the whole thing forever. I will never. I will stick with my Holiday Inns or something more expensive, and um, no, never again. Sorry. We were all exhausted the next morning, uh, even though they said they had gotten sleep. We were all a little grumpy and we were just like, can we get out of here? Can we get in the, on, the, on the road and get back out of here? We didn't feel comfortable there. And like I said, the whole staff, even in the morning, had a little less attitude. But they were like, you know, oh, you're leaving already? Y yeah, we're leaving. We're only staying for one night. You're sure? You don't want to stay another night? 
we we only booked we only we were walk-ins we walked in the night before no no we're fine we're leaving and they were very dismissive like oh well okay fine and they would, didn't even speak to us. They didn't even wish us well as we went out the door. And every hotel I've had, once you pay for them, they're usually like, thank you for staying with us. We appreciate that you came. You know, it's called customer service. No customer service. <laughs> no customer service at, at the La Quintus. So, no. Um, didn't happen. So we got back on the road. Again, everything is okay. It's heating up. It was getting hot. Uh, I don't remember. We were, it was close to hundreds or a little over hundreds as we were driving. And we got into some place and it just was sweltering. There was no air coming in the windows. It was just hot air and there was no breeze outside. And it just got hotter and hotter in the vehicle. And I'm looking at my friend and I'm trying to get the wet cloths on her and I'm seeing her just get redder and redder. She looked like a lobster. And she stopped speaking and she's just staring out the window, driving. And I'm like, how are you doing? She's like, I've got a splitting headache or I've got a terrible headache. I'm trying to give her some stuff. I'm getting, getting Tylenol out, giving it, I mean, not uh, Tylenol. I mean, it might have been Tylenol. I'm not quite sure. But trying to make her comfortable, you know, giving her bottles of water. She's drinking them. She's pouring them on her head a little bit. It's, nothing's working. Finally, it was about 4.30, 5 o'clock in the afternoon, and we came up to a full-service truck stop. And uh, for those of you who don't know what a full-service truck stop is, it, um, it has not only places to eat, it has showers, it's got a bathroom, a bathroom showers, it's really everything you could want, especially if you've been on the road for a long time. We got her in there, she was uh, unsteady on her feet. She was kind of staggering a little bit and complaining about the splitting headache and she felt dizzy and she felt like she wanted to throw up and she hadn't hardly ate anything all day. And I'm think, and I was just feeling so guilty. I'm like, oh my God, I'm killing my friend because I wanted to go back to New York and she got this job. And well, I was just angsting and, and feeling guilty all over the place. So um, we get in there and uh, we sat, da sat her down on a bench. I got her uh, Gatorade. I, we were making her drink the Gatorade. I got... We bought some ha uh, like hand towels that they had. I, I put ice, co ice cold water, right, uh, water cup bottles. We got cold water bottles, poured that on her head, and just laid it over her head, over her face, and just let her sit there and kept replacing them as they got, you know, as they got warm, put more on top of her head. And so we stood there for about an hour until she um, cooled down enough. Uh, the headache was easing a little bit. Um, thank God she didn't faint or get sick to the point of throwing up, even though she felt like it. She, obviously, we had overheated her, and um, the car had overheated her, heated her. And uh, finally, after about an hour, she was feeling a little better, and I said, we can stay. I said to her, you know, we can stay, you know, we don't have to run back on the road. She's like, no, no, the sooner we get on the road, um, the sooner we can get to a hotel room and I can, I can just, you know, get a cold shower and I'll feel so much better. So, well, you know, we waited till she felt a little better. I think we waited another half an hour and uh, we got back into the vehicle, got tons more ice water threw a wet, wet towel around her neck. I threw it over her head. Um, we just kept wetting it on top of her head while she drove until we could get to the um, hotel that night. And that went fine. I'm going to end this for now and we're going to pause this. And I just want to thank everyone for watching and liking. Please subscribe. Please like. Please comment. Tell me how I'm doing. 
give me some feedback. I'd be really, really, really pleased to see that. Thanks a lot. See you next time. Bye.